she told him also that um she hoped that she passed away and the baby don't make it. So I ain't no telling what she'll do to my child. Do you have concerns about someone other than Mr. Henry knowing your address? Yes. And what and who is that person? The person he's living with. with? We've also had words, yes, ma'am. The person he's living with is that his um wife, a girlfriend? Um she's currently his baby mama, his fourth. Okay, and what kind of and, and what kind of you had with the girlfriend? Um, we've had words over the phone. It's gotten to the point to where um, she's told me to pull up and um, it's got to the point to where I, I've wanted to fight. Um, that was just basically it. I mean, it has not been, we've seen each other or nothing like that. Okay. And um, have, have there been any threats to you or your child? No, not, no. Okay. So you're just, you would be just for non-disclosure as to a, a party not involved in the case, correct? Yes. Thank you. And as to um, possession and access, um, you are currently residing in Louisiana, as you testified earlier, correct? Yes. And um, what type of um, possession schedule are you um, in agreement with at this time? Are you, are you saying the visitation? Visitation, yes, miss, ma'am. Okay, so um, I've agreed on the first, third, and fifth weekend um, for him to come here. Um, as I stated earlier, I was um, telling the lady that he has came and I want him to come here because he comes by himself. I don't know, you know, I wouldn't be able to get to Texas if anything was to go wrong. So I would uh, rather him come here. When he comes here, he's able to sleep and, you know, be comfortable with his child. And I want to do that on the first, third, and fifth weekends. And you you, you said he's already um, traveling to Louisiana to visit? Yes, he's already traveled here three times. And um, it has, it goes smooth when he's here. We don't, because my, the, whoever I stay with like drama in their house so they make sure that it's a smooth visit he comes he see his child and he go back to Texas okay and has that been three times in one month or over two months what's what has been what is the uh, period I want to say over two months he came the first time was in October and he just came last week and um and how far is sort from where uh, Mr. Harry lives it's like almost three hours yeah, almost three hours. Okay. And um, and so you want him to visit to come to go to Shreveport for every first, third, and fifth weekend of the month to visit with the with the child. Yes. Okay. Are Can you I be, say, um, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Can I say something else? Um, I I chose those weekends because I want to give him time. Like I, I'm big on my baby seeing her father. And uh, I think I was going to answer your next question. I don't mind being there, but it's like I have to fight him to get here. Uh, he'll tell me, oh, I'm coming. And then it's a million and one things that comes up. And so I feel like those weekends separate will give him time to come. He'll tell me, hey, I'm coming on the 10th and we won't see him until the 25th. So okay. I feel like. OK, so do you have. Con so would you be with um, Mr. Henry bringing the child back to Texas for visitation? No, ma'am. Why and why is that? Because he lived with the nun party, and I don't. I'm not. No, she has you, made. She don't like uh, her, I, yes. sir. I'm gonna get to you, sir. Just give me a moment. She has yes. made a, um suicidal threats to him and to their unborn, and I'm just not sitting right with that. She has told him that if. He doesn't be with her. She's going to kill herself and kill the child. And on top of that, she told him also that um, she hoped that she passed away and the baby don't make it. So I ain't no telling what she'll do to my child. So I'm has not. She, do you know if she's, has she ever been around your child? Yes, she, she's watched her on uh, multiple occasions. And to your knowledge, has your child been in danger when she's been in her possession? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Okay. But you want our visitation to take place. At your house. In Louisiana. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Pass the witness, Your Honor. Mr. I would like to call, recall Mr. Harry. Okay. Um, Mr. Harry, you heard um, William's testimony. She's requesting a non disclosure as to um, a third party, I'm sorry, a non party to this case, um, your girlfriend. Do you have concerns about that or are you, are you in agreement with that? Uh, I do have concerns because that will put me in a bind. Uh, to really just work off of going only there to visit her or wherever Aaliyah ends up in Texas. Cause I mean, I don't know where she's uh, deciding to move, but she's told me Houston. So I would have to arrange all of that off mm -hmm. of just off of, you know, 
what Objection I don't. Objection, not responsive, Your Honor. He's not, I'm asking about non-disclosure, Your Honor. Let's cut to the chase. I, I okay. think we're we're wasting time here, really. You agree with this order, Mr. Henry, other than the visitation? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry, Your Honor. All I ask Let is me talk to you about the visitation. Since she's over 100 miles away, you're entitled to one visitation per month. You don't have to come on the first, third, and the fifth. You only have to visit the child once a month, any weekend of your choice. You understand? Yes, sir. You do not have to travel to uh, Louisiana to visit with the child. If Miss uh, Williams doesn't make the child available in Texas, then you don't have to visit at all. You understand? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Williams, you say you want your child to be a part of, uh, you want the father to be a part of the child's life. But you chose to move out of the state, and therefore, really, th this state has no uh, would have no uh, jurisdiction over the child. That child is not within the jurisdiction of the state. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, according to uh, the state, they're setting up a conservatorship, asking for a joint managing conservatorship. But really, they don't have any control over the child. You would really should uh, apply through UFSA. But since we're here, and since the child was conceived in Texas, then I'm going to grant joint managing conservatorship, and I'm going to grant a standard visitation. But that means it would be once a month, any month that Mr. Hen chose. The, uh, he's going to pay cash medical of $60 per month, child support of $335 a month. I'm going to find no retroactive child support. It appears that uh, y'all have been separated 10 months. And during that 10 months, you say he's given you two or three thousand dollars. The arrears would, would uh the arrears would be three thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. So I'm gonna find no retroactive child support. I am gonna order that he pay the court costs. Either one of you have any questions? No, sir. Yes, sir. Your Honor, uh so I, did you state that she will have to make the child available here? For my visitation? Yes. yes, sir. Okay. Or you can go there if you want to visit with the child. Yeah, I would still go there, but I would like to visit my child here. But, I mean, I guess the question... Want, if, you, if you want to go to Louisiana and visit, you can. I guess the question is, is it uh this is this court order that the child cannot come to where I stay? No, I never said that. Okay. That's not I'm, part of the I, order. I said that you get one visitation per month, one weekend per month. Now, you can visit with that child in Louisiana if you choose, or you can pick the child up, bring the child back to Dallas, keep the child, and then take the child back Sunday. That's totally up to you. Okay. You have yes. the whole weekend. If you want to bring it, if you want to visit with her where you and your girlfriend reside, you may do that also. Thank you. We cannot I object dictate. to that, Your Honor. We cannot dictate who you associate with, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Ms. Williams, you may not like that. But the, you chose Mr. Henry, and Mr. Henry has the right to visit with his child. And if he chooses some other woman to visit with the child with, that's fine, as long as there's no injury to the child. If there's some injury or if you think that there, is gone, that there has been something to happen, you can call Child Protective Services. They will go and investigate. Yes, sir. All right. Ms. Hood is going to prepare an order. She'll email it to both of you. If you have any additional questions, let me know now. Otherwise, you can press leave and you're free to go. Your Honor, Your Honor, I would like clarification. At the ruling on the non-disclosure, is it granted or that she, she was requesting non-disclosure? Just requesting a non-disclosure as to a third party. Yes. So I'm not, I'm not granting that non-disclosure because Mr. Henry needs to know where she is and not. But as to any other parties, yes, you can gra uh, grant the non-disclosure. Thank you, Your Honor. Anything else? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. All right. What you got, Mr. Tatum? I have 10 people in my house that I take care of. Groceries, everything is so darn expensive these days, and it's just hard to be able to keep everything paid. Our child support amount has been set at this price since I've been put on child support, and it's still hard to be able to maintain a household paying that amount and then to take more away from it. It just makes things harder. 